hello and welcome back to Thronesbreaker! We're back! Wow! So, we killed Aldane, kind of over here, and I came down this road, and I managed a fight with the Sheet Troll that lasted like over one hour, and if you're wondering why did I stop this series, it's because I fought with the Sheet Troll for one hour, which is like a dumb puzzle, and I hated it. So we're gonna have a new policy here, is that when we see a, a puzzle, we do a, 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 a flippy, a 180, and we go the other way, big time. But other than that, we're doing it. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe we're gonna have a policy of if I can't solve the puzzle on the first try, then we can't do it. That's just how it works. Because I think the puzzles are just completely, uh, uh, I don't know, not fun. Let's just put it that way. The thing is, puzzles are not really, uh, well, as you can tell, I'm a little pissed about it, but puzzles are not really fun, I think. Thick black smoke, turning day They're kind of like, darkest <laughs> doing Riding in the middle some of math. The caravan, Neve could see neither its head nor its rear. Raynard ordered the men to keep formation and march in silence. Eyes open, fore and aft. The foe might well use these conditions to spring a trap. I see. Alright, good, good, good one, Reynard. Uh, the scout's shrill horn cut through the silence. Neve immediately galloped to the front of the column. She found herself in a pile of red-hot coals that had once been peasants' huts. What the devil happened here? Bodies lay amid the ashes. Barefoot men in nightshirts as if caught in their sleep. Meave deemed them yet more victims of the black-clad invaders. But Gascon had another interpretation. <clears throat> Maybe they felt a little cold that night and thought like, hey, let's just uh, light the whole village on fire, you know? I, I'm i not saying that happened, but, you know, it's definitely one of the options. Look at the arrows. Imperial issue. Not hardly. Nor are they the type the Skyatel favor. And the tracks in the mud, the attackers fought not in formation, but man to man. Bandits. It must have been. Raynard, standing next to him, nodded in agreement. Gascon can be relied on here. After all, he knows of what he speaks. An uncomfortable silence fell over the group, ending only when Meave ordered the scouts to determine the direction of the bandits' tracks. They returned to report the killers were hiding somewhere to the north. Nice. Based on their foot tracks. Alright. We got them. So... What is this thing? Some money? Oh yeah. Meave, the kleptomaniac. Uh, she can just be a proper uh, heroine in an adventure game as well. You just see something, you pick it up. You know, just in case. Imagine Meave's... Like, the only thing... The only reason I actually need an army with me... Is because... Who the hell is gonna carry my stuff? Imagine that. Like, Meave sees, like, two planks and like... Oh my god, I gotta take that. Alright, let's go. We're ignoring the puzzle. Screw that. If we get cards, if we get anything, if we like even get like like I don't know, 20 ventures, we don't care. Screw the puzzle. I know, this this is kind of so crushing, but also the puzzles are just not fun, I think. I like the story, I do. I'm going and I kinda like the casual fights. The but the, the puzzles are are kinda of disgrace. Sometimes they are fun. Like th that's that's my problem. So that's why we're gonna have the one try policy. Because the thing is with the puzzles, I know I'm kind of going on about the puzzles, but you know, because you just need to sit there, you know, babe, possibly even get out the paper or notepad and just like fix it yourself. Nearly home. It's not really gameplay. With my dear just wife. hey, I just do a, uh, I just fix it and uh, think about how how to solve it. Oh my god, we got a point of interest here. Some kind of uh. I don't know what that is, but we're checking it out. Big bucks. Oh, is that... Kind of looks like Dandelion. Oh my god! Good fortune for us! Hey mister, what's up? Well, uh, keep up the <clears throat> good mood, uh, mister. Oh, what we have here? Oh, I see I See inside, guys. Uh, how about some shirts? Oh, these are the bandits? Well, that was easy. 
I didn't expect them to have like a proper the scouts fort. reported the bandits who attacked the village that night now occupied a fort the Adernians had hastily abandoned during their retreat. They left crossbows, arbalists, ballistae. The bandits are armed to the teeth. If it's a wooden fort, can you just set it on fire? That's that's my thing with wooden forts, like, you know, like okay, they're they're wooden forts, you know. Not exactly stone. What's more, according to the local folk, they had a witch among them. In light of these reports, Neve's advisors debated whether it was worth risking a fight with the brigands. Let's call it as it is, Gascon said. The game's not worth the candle. Game? Rayla said, struggling to swallow her anger. They slaughtered an entire village. We cannot let them get away. Well, oh, okay. I don't know. That's attacked the fort. The stage seems set for a long debate, when Meave pounded her fist on the table. I am a queen for God's sakes. I shall not cower before common rogues, even if the entire conclave of mages stands with them. Reynard, have the men prepare their arms. Reynard saluted and left the tent. If one had seen him then, he would have sworn the grizzled soldier smiled to himself, beaming with pride in his ruler. Cool. All right, let's get him. What is that? Killing is not the solution to everything. What the hell? That's a foolish thing to say. All right, let's see what we get. Ooh, we have good morale. So many mulligans, and it's a shortened battle. Do we want? Oh, if you just want me to point spam, I can do that. Oh, that's good. Alright, we gotta be careful here. Maybe that's gonna work. Your Grace, I saw flashes of light inside the fort. No! <gasps> Alright, so I guess we're just gonna play Lyrian Scytheman Plus. Surrender while you can! Oh, okay. So, apparently killing is not the solution to everything, but if you actually drop this to four, then he, it goes back into his deck. So, killing well, sounds, a, sounds like the solution to a lot of things. Maybe not killing, but... Dropping it to four power is gonna be pretty handy. Boost free adjacent units by three. None adjacent unit by three. Whatever the enemy leader is used. Repeat the deployability. Oh my god. Um. Okay. But well, I'm gonna use my leader quite a bit. There's a time to reap. A this time ain't gonna to stop it. Not the best. Maybe we can kill this Adarian cavalry. Rivian Pikey man. Oh no! Damage random enemy by two. Repeat this ability when an enemy's loyal ability is triggered. Holy crap. Okay. Give me a time. Um well, I'm gonna be triggering my loyal ability quite a bit. Well, I guess we, we could play the archers the before. I mean, the uh, Rivian pikemen before. I mean, that that would have been pretty nice, actually. Maybe do that. Oh, Lyrian lummoxes. Punch him! Oh my God, twenty-five point guy. What a beast. We can straight bomber the back row. Today's gonna be a good Okay. Uh this is eight damage. We can set the the back row on fire. You mad? Don't shake that. Let's do that for now.
Permanent resilience. Okay, we can blow up the archer if we care about that. Actually, maybe not. Abolista, your command. I'll just move this in the back. There you go. Killing is not the solution to everything. Did you hear that? A kind of See? incantation. Something's yeah. not right. They should be dead with those wounds. <laughs> I think the incantation is supposed to work on the first row, but I keep uh, throwing everything back. <laughs> um, let's do a regiment drummer. Right, left, right. Get out something nice. You can try to win them all, but you oh, won't. deserters. Okay, let's see what we get. Um, I don't know. I need. To, uh, we don't need to be on the first row. I. I can just uh keep throwing stuff in the back. That guy got pretty strong. Wait. Oh, that's not enough. Actually. Discipline shall bring us victory. Again and again and again. Alright, fine. Well, it seems like points are kinda good. So points are gonna be pretty helpful. Hungry like a wolf. Killing does seem like an okay solution to a lot of things. Mm. Lowest ally by the highest ally. And we, we can still boost that, so let's just... i just hit everything. Oh my god, they're boosting pretty hard. What's gonna happen? Actually, yeah, this would have been better. I don't know, this is kind of fine. We can move this in the back, or just hit these in the back. That's fine. Yeah, we go up. And we can boost one of the guys. So killing was not the solution to everything, but, you know, it's still okay. So can they match us with points? Wait. Why am I not passing? Yes, four card advantage for some reason. Yeah, good luck. Oh my god, look at the boosts. Hmm, Wait, will he ever run out of cards? Can't take it anymore. Okay. You can try to win them all, but you won't. I'm not gonna win. He's gonna run out of cards. Guy vettles, hungry like a wolf I am. Just keeps gaining cards. <sighs> well, I guess it's gonna take some more patching. Okay. The fort is ours, your grace. Nice. I love the outfit we got right now. The other one was too good, girl. But yeah, this is this is perfect. Alright, GG. <laughs> Impenetrable fort. Battled long and hard to take the fort. Meave could have sworn she saw bandits stalking its ramparts. Bandits who moments before had taken a bolt to the head. By yep. all rights, a mortal wound. What the devil is going on here? She swore as she took cover behind her shield. A bolt to the head? Maybe he had a helmet? The secret was unraveled only after the battle's conclusion. Meave's soldiers dragged before her a grey-haired woman in coloured robes. The aura radiating from her left no doubt. They had fought a sorceress. It was her healing spells that enabled the bandits to hold off their attack for so long. So, <coughs> Miss Sorceress, would you like to join us or would you like to would you like to die? What is your name, Sorceress? Yep. How should we call you? Ispel of Tretago. Okay. So you want to sign up, you know? We're not too picky about it, you know? Helping bandits uh, be immortal, that's totally cool. 
I take it you did not keep company with bandits willingly. Why not? Not at all. They kidnapped me and forced me to aid them. Well, okay. Forced? I do not understand. As a woman fluent in the arcana of magic, you could have freed yourself with little effort. Well, Reynard, that's quite the assumption. You know, like, there, there were a lot of bandits. You know? What if I told you that you need to take out the bandits by yourself? True. I could have. But I would have had to kill. And I swore never to use my talents to harm another. Really? So you, you do say that uh, you are saying that you could have taken out the whole army of bandits. Okay, sure. Uh, that whole no-killing policy is a little annoying, but... Uh, you're welcome aboard. Not even in self-defense. Not even then. Then you live in truly unfortunate times. <laughs> War rages all around. You cannot hide from it. So be it. Then I must entrust myself to the care of the gods. Okay. Or a passing queen. You stand before Meave, by divine right ruler of Lyria and Rivia. We seek the lord of these lands, Demavend. Divine right. Okay, so the thing is, if you come with me and I murder literally everybody on the road, and you're gonna be like, oh yeah, I'm not murdering everybody, can you really say that though? Maybe you're not gonna join up because I may have killed one or two people. Oh, forgive me for not recognizing you, your grace. You do not look like a ruler. More like a mercenary. Thank you! I take that as a compliment. I know how I look. Would you look like sorceress? Well, she does look like a... Well, she looks like a village herbalist. I don't know, like... Are you just saying that she doesn't uh, dress like a high-class slut? Because that's kind of like the how the sorcerers like to dress. I know how I look. This style is actually pretty intentional, so... I'm really glad that you appreciate it. True, I wear no crown. It was stolen from me along with my country. Uh, you don't sound like much of a ruler, Meave, there. <clears throat> I strive to reclaim what was taken. And admit the help of a sorceress would prove useful. Oh yeah. Here we go. Thank you, my lady. But you must know, an army is no place for me. Why not? I, I, I swear, we'll barely do any murdering. Should you wish it not, you needn't fight. We have many civilians among our ranks who... Who what? <laughs> Beef? Come on, what? Who do their part in the slaughter. Indirect guilt is enough. No ways, Bell. Shh, Meave. You blew it. I mean, um, those peasants are gonna, uh... Well, they're just... Come on, Isabel. Think about the lives you can save. My soldiers do not slaughter. They fight. I see. There's a difference. Lofty words. But the result is the same. Piles of corpses. Isbo, come on. Can you just uh, kick me in the face and take over this army? <laughs> I, I like both of you, but at least you should join up. Well, a bandit I am not. I shall not force you. Reynard, prepare the men to march on. Well, <clears throat> well forcing people to join up, that's definitely not our course, style. But, if I may... Perhaps Xavier might have a look at the war machines we captured. He may find some parts of use. Me followed Reynard's suggestion. Xavier went to work. Yes, Your Grace. Xavier! Well, <clears throat> you might need a hat or and a mask. And a hood. Just saying. You might be scaring the locals. Gods. What happened to him? That, exactly my point. This is what I brought up earlier. That these damn of guardians are hurting people, and we need you to help help them. C clearly healing. We're definitely not looking for trouble here. He was in Rosberg when the stronghold fell, nearly burned alive. 
good one, Sevier. Whoever sent Sevier here in this such an appropriate time. Uh, good thinking. How, how are you healing him? We're not. Have you heard my suggestion? <laughs> the medics recommended regular poultices of dog's tallow. But whether they've any effect... Of course they've no effect. For such wounds. How he must suffer. <clears throat> In the day he reveals nothing. But at night one awakes to hear him sob with pain. Well... Mm. What a pussy. <laughs> you see? I need healers. Yes! Exactly! This ball? What are you gonna say about this? I shall go with you. But never shall I use magic to take a life. Do I make myself clear? Exactly. I prefer to do the killing myself. I mean, <clears throat> uh, fighting. Ah, I consent to your conditions. What, 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 what the hell? What if I changed my mind? Like, says this ball is gonna join me, like. Yes, you have put it quite plain. Fine by me. Rather bluntly. Okay. Forgive me, your grace. It has been long since I played the host. I forget the custom. Okay. Well, we're standing in the middle of a burning port now, apparently. So, it's kind of excusable. Your spells mean more to me than your manners. Welcome to our ranks, Isbel. Isbel sat in one of their wagons and shut her tired eyes. Her long grey hair seemed to flutter ever so slightly, though there was neither wind nor breeze. Ooh. Well, maybe the fire, you know? Oh, Isabel the healer. <clears throat> cool. Alright, let's, let's go. Oh. Stuff outside? Oh my god, these bandits had a lot of planks and gold. Alright, let's go. Where, where we are. Uh, yeah. We wanna pick up stuff. Is belt? Wow. Should we check it out? I'm not sure how we check it out. No, that's not how we check it out. That's not how we check it out either. <laughs> okay. Uh, I should use these buttons. Pitch camp! Is belt? Uh, maybe... No, not, not here. This I think this is it. Oh, this is... Oh my god, she's 25. Boost allies at random by the total damage taken during this battle. During boost amount zero. Huh. So this is a very situational card. Also pretty pricey. Alright, Isabel, you're just gonna... Uh, I don't know. Just sleep in the wagon. That's not really the stuff we're doing. But I'm glad you're on board. And you're gonna see so much murder that... Uh, your no-killing policy is probably going to be reinforced. <clears throat> the right. ruins still smolder. Nilfgaard Park's not long afore. They must be closed. Oh yeah, we're actually not getting too close. Oh, more puzzles. Hmm. Brave warriors fled so fast, didn't manage to pack. Beautiful hmm. sword. Oh, just lo some looters. I totally approve. I right, come on. Leaving stuff behind? That's just rookie things to do. We got some puzzle... Yeah, we got a puzzle over there. And we also got stuff over here. Okay, locked items. A dock. Well, yeah. Kind of. Um, we're getting closer to... The main quest. We almost finished this map. So that's pretty sweet. Alright. Let's check out the locked item. Oh. Open this thingy. Recruits. I'm not sure how he managed to find 27 dudes here who... Oh. I don't have the key. Eh, who cares? It's a stupid chest anyway. Maybe we've got to find the key. Anyway, guys, before we head into this next village, that's apparently called I don't know how. Um, we can't we can't check out the. the t does it say? No, it does not say. 
We don't know. I guess we're just gonna ask the locals. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys, and see you next time.